everybody. If you are new, then welcome to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, then welcome back to my channel. Now, um, I know that I haven't posted for two weeks, but I was diagnosed with COVID and I was not feeling good, but I'm back with, with another video. So that's neither here nor there, but that's why I was gone. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys five perfumes that I do have the dupe body sprays for. Now, I do have six body sprays that are the dupes, and you will see what I mean when I share them. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Again, do not forget to like, comment, subscribe. Go and click my description and go follow me on TikTok and follow me on Instagram. Okay. So the first one that I'm going to be showing you today or the first perfume that I'm going to be showing you today is She. And you guys should know that this is one of my favorite perfumes. I, I've been showing this in a lot of videos. Like I said, it's really inexpensive. It's like $16.99, $19.99 at TJ Maxx. I always see it and it's for a 3.4 ounce bottle. But this is She. And I love this. And again, the notes will be up here. But just to let you know, she is a pretty aquatic, fresh smell with a little floral. Um, now, the notes, just some of the notes, because again, I'm going to put it over here. Some of the notes, and yes, I did write it down because it's a lot to remember all of those notes. So, the notes for she, just some of them, is water lily, mandarin, orange blossom, and musk. And like I said, it is a pretty musky aquatic scent with a little bit of floral that you get now this is the perfume that i'm showing but the dupe is from victoria's secret and again it is a body spray and that is bombshell summer you guys see that from victoria's secret now the notes again going to be up here but just some of the notes in here is grapefruit currant lily of the valley now, um, this is a really pretty, and Bombshell Summer is right. It's a really pretty scent, really fresh scent. Oh, you get a kick of the floral. Yeah, Whew. smells good. So, like I said, they are dupes. This smells just like she. So, if you were wondering what either one smelled like, this one, she smells like Bombshell Summer or Bombshell Summer smells like she if you have either one and just wanted to know what the other one smelled like. Now, they both perform really, really good, especially at the price point. Um, this one, this one, I will say that it lasts for about four hours, at least on my skin. Um, I'm in Georgia. This sun is just baking everybody so that when, when it's really hot outside, it does tend to sort of cook the smell, <laughs> making it a little stronger than it normally is. So this is probably about a three to four hour wear before it becomes a skin scent. You can still smell it, but you have to be up on the person to smell it. Um, this sort of performs a lot of Victoria's Secret uh, body sprays or body mist. They perform like perfumes when they are like the bombshell, the teas, the very sexy. The ones over to the side, not the love spell, not the pure seduction or... Um, the bare vanilla, not, not those. Those perform like body sprays like you think they would. But these perform like perfumes. So that's the first one. Um, now, the light note that both of these do have is Lily. They both have Lily in both of these. So in the perfume, you have Lily as well as you have Lily in this body spray. And yet they both have um, a citrus fruit as well. Not the same citrus fruit, but in the citrus family. So, those are the light notes. All right. So, moving to the second one that I'm going to be showing you guys, the dupes. The first one, again, is the perfume. And this is by Peppy Jeans London. And that's just the name of it. In a pretty martini glass. I love the glasses. I have three of these. I think the camera picked up on it. My ring light keeps shining off the the gold. It's rose gold, if you guys can't tell. <sighs> yeah. Okay, so again, the notes will be over here, but just to call out a few of the notes. Um, marshmallow, almond, vanilla, amber, and musk. And the dupe for this one is a body spray that comes from Bath & Body Works, and that is coconut pineapple. 
and before I get into how they smell smell um I just want to let you guys know that neither one of these have the same note it's so funny but anyways the note in this is coconut pineapple pineapple and sugar cane um I said in a previous video that this smelled like a Bahama mama and I was incorrect I said the wrong drink <laughs> it smells like a pina colada and that's what this smells like a pina colada they both this one does not have any coconut in it but it smells like coconut and pineapple yeah that's what this smells like coconut and pineapple it smells like a it smells like a pina colada. I was about to say Bahama Mama again, but it smells like a pina colada. And then this one smells like a pina colada too, which is coconut pineapple. So this one smells like what it has in it. This one, like I said, doesn't have any coconut, but it smells like coconut pineapple. So they are really both really pretty fruity scents. But not overly sweet, but they're pretty fruity, sweet scents. But they're not overly sweet. They're also not juvenile like some perfumes or some body sprays they are. But these are really, really sweet scents. But not a sweet that is juvenile. You know, not a, a scent that a kid would wear. It's more for a, adults. But yeah, so that's the second one. So again, this is Peppy Jeans London, just the original. And then this is Coconut Pineapple from Bath & Body Works. Okay, now moving on to number three. It's funny that I say juvenile because I said this one is not. But let's start with the perfume. And that is Pink Sugar by Aqualina. And the notes of Pink Sugar, again, they'll be up here. But just some of the notes in Pink Sugar is orange kind of candy, caramel, and vanilla. And this one, again, if you go back and you look at my affordable video um for the perfumes under twenty dollars this is on there as well as the she is on there as well yeah so this is um the best way i can describe this is that cotton candy scent from uh body fantasies it smells like that but it smells like a more more adult version of that if you will that's what this smells like so it's not juvenile but it's really really a sweet scent and so if you don't like sweet scents i would say stay away from this like i said it smells good and it's a pretty sweet scent um but it does smell like um burnt sugar so it doesn't smell just like just pure sugar or pure vanilla or like i said as juvenile it smells like burnt sugar that's what it smells like. Now, the body spray that I feel like it is a dupe to is, again, from Bath & Body Works. And that is Champagne Sprinkles. Can I see that? So, this came out, I want to say it was last year, SAS for Bath & Body Works. Or it could have been the year before last. I get the years mixed up, but... Just to name some of the notes in Champagne Sprinkles, it's Sparkling Champagne, Raspberry Icing, and Rainbow Sprinkles. Now, that's what they said is in here on the back of here. Down here, when I pulled the notes, it said that it also had Gardenia, Jasmine, Peony, and Amber. So, both of these right here, the Pink Sugar and the Champagne Sprinkles, they actually don't really have any notes too much in common but they smell just alike when i got the champagne sprinkles not gonna lie i got it for the packaging um because the store was so crowded at sas i didn't even really smell it in the store i just got it because of the packaging but it smells like pink sugar exactly like pink sugar so if there's some people out there that like pink sugar and think that is too strong if you can get your hands on champagne sprinkles then go ahead and try to find that like i said it was a limited edition or just specifically for that sas so you might have to check macari or ebay or amazon um when i pulled it up today while i'm shooting this video i actually seen it on fragrancenet.com so you can also check there as well yeah 
So that is my third one that I'm going to be showing you guys that are dupes of my perfumes and body sprays. Now, the fourth one I did show already, sort of. I didn't show the body spray. I showed it in my combinations video. Um, can't remember if it was the first one or the second one. I think it was the first one. Um, but I did show the body mist. Um, well, I showed the body cream that goes to this body mist. So, of course, when I show you guys the perfume, it may look familiar. Uh, so, let's go ahead and jump right into it. The fourth one that I'm showing you today is Burberry Sport. And again, the notes will be up here. But just a couple of the notes that I have here. It's Mandarin Salt, Magnolia Musk, and Sand. Sand. <laughs> and that makes sense and I'll explain that a little later. Uh, the body spray is again from Bath and Body Works and it is Saltwater Breeze. Saltwater Breeze is a dupe to Burberry Sport. Um, now, like I said in my combinations video, I did use or let you guys know that a perfect combination to layer, you know, with the Burberry Sport was the Saltwater Breeze body cream i like uh, bath and body works body creams i don't care for their lotions they're a little too thin and they don't really in my opinion get rid of ash so if you're looking for something to you know get rid of ash i would say go for the body creams and they're a little bit more nourishing for the skin a little bit more moisturizing but anyways i pair it with this right here so in my collection because i actually do wear my body spray as well I do have two salt water breezes, one that I use to, you know, layer with my Burberry Sport and then one that I actually use with the salt water breeze body mist. But these two, they are dupes. They smell just alike. If you've never smelled Burberry Sport and you like the perfume and you are close to Bath and Body Works, go and smell salt water breeze. That'll let you know because I don't, I don't see this one in stores a lot. So you may not be able to get to it to smell it in the store. But if you can get the Bath and Body Works and smell this and you want it in a perfume form, I would say go ahead and get the Burberry Sport. Now the notes in the Saltwater Breeze is fresh linen, violet, leaves, <clears throat> water blossom, and musk. Um, the only scent note that these two have in common is musk. They both have musk. Um... For some reason, it doesn't say that this one has salt, even though it's called salt water breeze, but they both remind me of if you're on the beach, if the water runs up. So when you hear me say salt, I don't mean like the salt that you eat or it smells like the salt that you eat. It's more of salt water when you're on the beach, like a fresh scent and the water just runs up a little bit and you just get a whiff of the water. That's what I mean when I say salt. Just a disclaimer. That's what, what I mean. I, but yeah, so this is the fourth pairing. Again, this is Burberry Sport and Saltwater Breeze and they perfect dupes for each other. Okay, so in the beginning of the video, ooh, my hair's sticking out. Mm. In the beginning of the video, I did say that I have six uh, body sprays, but I have five perfumes. So let me just go ahead and show you guys the perfume and then you will probably understand. So this is my favorite perfume ever, my number one out of my full collection, uh, the one that I will forever keep in my collection. I don't care how much the price goes up. I wish it would come down, but I don't care how much it goes up. This is going to stay in my collection. And this is Baccarat Rouge 540 by Mason Francis Kirk John. And I do have the 6.8 ounce bottle because I love this perfume that much. This perfume is like, oh, it's the best thing popping, y'all. I'm telling you, I don't care what nobody say about it being hyped up. It is, and rightfully so, this is the most perfect perfume in the world to me. It is really seductive. It's sweet. It's intoxicating. Oh. It's so intoxicating. I literally found out about this perfume a couple years ago, maybe about four, maybe five years ago. And um, 
just quick story time inside of the video. I found out about this perfume. I was in Publix shopping, grocery shopping in Publix. And I was at the very top of the aisle. And it was lady all the way at the end of the aisle. I don't know her name because I don't know her. But I got on the aisle. And I was like, oh, this aisle smells good. It smells good over here. It smells good. So as I get close to the lady, I said, I know this not this lady. I smell all the way up the aisle. But as I got closer and closer, it getting stronger and stronger. And I, I complimented her when I got to the end of the aisle. I said, ma'am, you smell really, really good. And she was like, thank you, thank you. And I went back because I was in the grocery store with my mom. And I went and found my mom. I was like, it's a lady in here. She just smelled so good. And as I'm walking around, I can't, I can't even shop right because I'm thinking about this perfume. So I was like, I got to find that lady. I got to find her. So I started following her. And that's how. That's how potent this perfume is going to leave a trail. It's going to leave a trail. So if you wear it, you can spray really light because it's going to leave a trail no matter no matter what. No matter what, it's going to leave a trail. But anyways, it left a trail and I followed that lady sent through Publix just hoping that she had not left. And she hadn't left. She was still in there and I found her. And I was like, ma'am, I'm so sorry. That perfume just smells so good. You you, you got to tell me what you got on. And Lord, she was on the phone and she told her friend, I'll never forget this. She said, hold on, Jackie, I'm getting a compliment. So she put her friend on hold while me and her talked about this perfume. And she told me where she got it from. And she was like, I can't really pronounce it, sweetheart. But it's this, this, and this. And when she pulled up, we, we found it together on the phone because she couldn't remember, quite remember the name. And when we found it, it just stuck in my mind. And I just, eventually I got it. It, it didn't take that long. I think I got it like within three months of smelling her. Like I said, it's not cheap and I ain't got no money like that. But anyways, yeah. Now... <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so again, the notes will pop up here once I show you the guy, show you guys the uh, the two body sprays that go that, that I feel like are good dupes for for Baccarat Rouge. I know right off the bat that it has amber and jasmine in it. So I'm just gonna say those. I know those are in there. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be up here showing you guys the notes. So the first one. I feel like it's closest to smelling like Baccarat Rouge. And that is Ariana Grande's Cloud. So I feel like this one smells really, really good. Um, it's not it's not 100% a dupe, but it's really, really close. I would say that it is 96 six percent close because once it dries down it doesn't smell exactly like baccarat rouge but it still it, it still gives baccarat rouge like if somebody um wasn't you know trying to say it was baccarat rouge or like oh that smells like something i know like if it wasn't a person like me and you because you're watching the video so you must like perfume then they wouldn't be able to tell that it was not baccarat rouge me, I'm addicted to Baccarat Rouge in my own little perfume, kind of sniff my bottle every day kind of way, you know. But I, I, I would know, and a perfume lover would know if they got close enough to you, they'll be like, oh, that smells like Baccarat Rouge. But they would know that it's not. So this, this is like 96% of Baccarat Rouge. It definitely smells like it in the open. Um, but... The only note that they have in common is, is like amber. And then with Baccarat Rouge, it's amber grits. It's not just amber. So, but yeah, so that's the only note that this has in common with Baccarat Rouge. And again, I'm going to put the note for uh, Ariana Grande over there. Um, So if you have not made it to smell Baccarat Rouge, because Baccarat Rouge is not at every department store, you need to go to Neiman Marcus or... Um, it's actually cheaper if you order from Mason Francis uh, Kirk John over from France. I've ordered from over there as well. So it's cheaper to get it from him. Not gonna lie. It's cheaper to get it from him. But I, I got a Neiman Marcus card. So I sometimes, you know, have to, you know, pay, pay that off in a little, 
in a couple of payments. Um, but yeah, so if you have not been able to make it to uh, one of those department stores that do sell Baccarat Rouge, I would say if you can smell cloud, whether it's the body spray or whether it's the perfume, you will get the gist of how it smells. Like I said, it's not exactly um, hinted in every way that it needs to hit, but it's really, really close. It's really close. So for people that um, can't afford to get Baccarat Rouge, some of them do opt out to get cloud. And it, it's, it's really close. Like I said, I would say it's 96%. So that's one. Um, now, <laughs> the next one that I'm showing you guys is from Bath and Body Works. And if you are like me and you watch all these videos, then you already know which one I am talking about. And that is In the Stars. In the Stars. And this is, again, Bath and Body Works. And I will put the notes over here. Now, Baccarat Rouge, not Baccarat Rouge, I'm sorry. I'm talking about the dupes for Baccarat Rouge. But um, In the Stars and Ariana Grande Cloud, they both have musk in them. They both have musk in common. And then they both have woody notes. Or they all have woody notes. And then... Some type of floral and it's not even the same floral I don't know how three different perfume or three different things smell alike and they don't have too many of the same notes yeah because Ariana Grande smells like Baccarat Rouge uh, in the stars smells like Baccarat Rouge and this is not a part of the video but I have it sent over here I'm gonna grab it in just a second and actually <laughs> I wasn't planning on putting this in there, but Burberry, her, smells like Baccarat Rouge with just a strawberry note added to the front of it. But like I said, this wasn't even part of the video, but it's sitting over here on the dresser. So I just decided to show you guys. So this one, like I said, now this one smells just like Baccarat Rouge. And then you add a strawberry note. Um, and that's it. Like, literally. And he's... <laughs> What's funny, if you guys don't know, because like I, I like perfumes, so I do research, he actually is the perfumer behind Burberry Her. So it smells like Baccarat Rouge with a strawberry note. That's it. But they don't have too many of the same notes. But again, that one wasn't supposed to be in there because it's not an exact dupe, but it smells really, really close with that strawberry note in the front lead in it. So it's like a fruity, seductive. Baccarat Rouge, if you will. But again, in the stars, it's a dupe. So if you cannot find Ariana Grande Cloud and you want to still see how they smell, I would say go to Bath and Body Works. This is one of their regular scents, so it's not anything that's limited edition. Um, go to Bath and Body Works and smell in the stars. I do pair my in the stars um, body cream with my Baccarat Rouge. Uh, the same way I do the Burberry Sport with the Saltwater Breeze. I have two of the In The Stars body creams because I do use one when I am pairing it with my Baccarat Rouge. All right, you guys. So that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Thank you guys for all the support. I definitely appreciate it. And I am back and I hope that I do not have to miss another week. Lord, because that COVID just, it was different. But anyways, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video.